Hello students, welcome to maths class. In chapter sets, we have already done idea of sets, representation of sets and cardinality of a set. Today we will do types of sets and types of sets are equal sets, equivalent sets, finite set, infinite set, singleton set, empty set. Today we will discuss equal sets and equivalent sets on the basis of definition of cardinality. What are equal sets? Two sets are said to be equal if they are having precisely same elements. Here precisely word means same elements and same number of elements. Let's understand with example. Consider two sets E and F. Here E is 1, 2, 3 and cardinal number of E is 3 as three elements are present in the set. And F set is 1, 2, 3. Again cardinal number of F is 3. As we are observing that elements 1, 2, 3 are present in both sets. That means they are having same elements as well as same cardinal number. So it implies that set E is equals to set F. Let's consider two more sets. Here G is 3, 9, 11. And cardinal number of G is 3 as number of elements are 3. H set is 11, 3, 9. Here cardinal number of H is also 3. Now here also we are observing that 3, 9, 11 these are present in both sets. Also they are having same cardinal number. But they are not in same order. So as long as the elements of the set are same order doesn't matter. So here it implies that G is equals to set H. Let's take one more example. Here C is a set X such that X is a set of letters in word wolf. It is given in set builder form. So first of all I will write it into roster form. Here C will come W O L F and cardinal number of C is also 4. Here D is another set X such that X is a set of letters in word follow. Here set D will come in roster form that is F O L W. Cardinal number of D is also 4. Here we are observing that C and D are having same elements and same cardinal number which implies that set C is equals to set D. Now one more example is here that is I set is 4, 5, 8 and cardinal number of I is 3 and J set is 4, 5, 8, 9. Here 9 is present in J but it is not present in set I. That means elements of I and J are not same as well as size of the set is not same. Here cardinal number is 3 and here cardinal number is 4. That implies that I is not equals to set J. Now next sets are equivalent sets. So what are equivalent sets? Equivalent sets are the sets which are having same cardinal number. Now in equal sets elements should be same but in equivalent sets only cardinal number should be same. Let's understand with examples. Here A set is 2, 3, 5 whose cardinal number is 3 and B set is 4, 7, 8 cardinal number of B is 3. Now cardinal numbers are same as size of the sets are same but see the elements they both are having different elements so only cardinal numbers are equal therefore a is equivalent to b here this sign implies equivalent sign now next example is here set d is c is x such that x belongs to w where x is less than 8 now w stands for whole numbers C starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now this is in roster form. Now here number of elements are 8. So cardinal number of C is 8. D set is another set where X such that X belongs to capital N. Here capital N stands for natural numbers where X is less than 9. Now D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here cardinal number of D is also 8. As we are observing that cardinal numbers of C and D are same. But 
Here, 0 is not present in set D and 8 is not present in set C. So, number of elements are same but elements are not same. That means C is equivalent to set D. Now, here remember one thing that equal sets are always equivalent but equivalent sets may or may not be equal. Let's understand with examples. Here I am having a chart where I have written sets, cardinal number, equal sets, equivalent sets. Here A set is 1, 3, 5 and B set is 5, 3, 1. As you can see they are having same elements as well as their cardinal numbers are also equal. If cardinal numbers are equal, the sets are equivalent. But if they are having same elements as well as same cardinal number, the sets are equal sets. So these sets are equal as well as equivalent. It proves that equal sets always equivalent. But if I will take this example C. Here C set is A, B, C and cardinal number of C is 3. Here D set is D, E, F and cardinal number of D is 3. Here cardinal numbers are same. So they are equivalent sets. But here elements are not same. That means sets are not equal. So here we are observing that if a set if sets are equivalent sets, then they may or may not be equal. So students, I hope you have understood equal and equivalent sets. And I hope you are able to do the worksheet given in your SNAP homework. And also, before starting your homework, must go through the YouTube links that are already mentioned in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.